Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Hi guys, oh. Hi guys. I hope everyone is doing super dandy today because for today's video, we are gonna be doing a whole bunch of thrift flips. And when I say a whole bunch of thrift flips, I really mean a whole bunch of thrift flips today. I went into my closet and I found everything that was boring and um, not fun, not fun. And the goal today is hopefully thrift flip almost all of these and turn them into something that is a little bit more fun and something that I will actually grab out of my closet and wear. We're gonna be taking some inspiration from Pinterest. We're gonna be recreating some of these Pinterest pins right here. And then we're also gonna be being a little bit more creative and just taking some elements from them and just being creative just because um, I feel like that's the whole thing about a thrift flip is just having fun with it. So we're gonna have fun with a few of them. But before we get into the thrift flips, I do wanna thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. They sent over their new Cricut Maker 3, which I'm gonna be using today and thrift flipping some of the shirts here today. So I'm excited to share with you guys their Cricut Maker 3 and how it works and what you can use it for to make your clothes a lot more fun. Just a lot more fun. So for our first thrift flip, we're gonna be getting some inspiration from these pins right here. And I just love the idea of having a phrase or a quote or a saying on the back of your shirt or sweater. I just think that's so fun when you're walking around, people, strangers are just like reading your clothes and really like connecting with them. So I thought that'd be fun for our first thrift flip. I have this basic white crew neck here that I would love to put something on the back of. And then I also have this denim dress right here that I recently thrifted. And I just thought it'd be the perfect piece to have a nice big quote or saying here. So for designing this, I'm gonna open up the Cricut Design Space on my iPad and I'm just gonna put a new project and I'm gonna design my phrase on here. So for our first one, I am just using the font off the Cricut Design Space. I ended up choosing DTC Cozy. And all I did was I wrote out my quote, I changed everything to all caps, and then I played around with the kerning, the letting, you know, design terms, just the spacing between the letters. And then I put everything to the left, and that was it. That was it for my first design. JK, guys. I just found the perfect sweater for this one because this sweater right here has a blue stain on it. So this would be the perfect thrift flip to cover it up. So this is my third Cricut to be honest and I love Cricut but the one thing I love about their new Cricut is that with their smart iron on and smart vinyl you can actually just feed it into the machine without a mat. I'm gonna try this out. This is fancy. Everything's ready, so I'm just gonna press play and watch it go. So now it's all cut out. You can faintly see it on here or Maybe not, maybe you can't see it, but it's cut out. So I'm gonna peel back all the excess pieces on here just so we have our design. Now for my favorite part, peeling the, the plastic off so we can see the design. Gonna wanna let it cool down completely before you peel it off. Definitely made that mistake before. This is so satisfying. Oh my goodness. Ta-da! I hope you have a good day today. Oh shoot, I should have put today at the end. Here it is. Here is the first thrift flip. I think 
it looks amazing and it was really really simple to do and the next one is this dress so I'm gonna do the same type of thing where I'm just gonna cut out on my Cricut and then iron it on but for this one I'm gonna add a little smiley face and I kind of want it to say be a good human I just think this one should be a fun smiley one so that's what we're gonna do for this one so let me quickly design it I like this design. So because I'm doing multiple layers where I'm having like a yellow circle here and then I'm putting this on over top, I'm going to do the background first. So I'm going to iron on the black here and all these yellow circles first. Just a little tip for you guys. Um, do this on a not hot day, otherwise you're gonna be sweating a lot. Tip number two, don't wanna wait for your design to cool down, just put it in front of a fan. Good to go. So this is how the first layer turned out. Looks like there's a couple of beach balls just floating around, but we're gonna fix that. So for our second thrift flip now, this one's gonna be even easier than the last one. I know, hard to believe. But for this one, we're gonna be using heat transfer paper. So if you don't have a Cricut to cut out your iron on vinyl, it's okay, you can use this, which all you need is an inkjet, and you just print your design right onto this paper, and then iron it onto your clothes. But I'm actually gonna take it a step further and all the designs that I created, I'm gonna give you guys for free. It'll be linked down below in the description so you guys can download them and then print them and then iron them on and then we'll all be matching. So for my design, I personally made this one, but really you can print out any design you want. It could be a picture, it could be, you know, a picture or words, it can be really anything, but I really like the acrylic look where it looks almost like we painted on the shirt, so I'm gonna try to replicate that. I digitally painted these flowers just roughly onto my iPad, so I'm actually gonna print this design right onto my transfer paper, and if you guys like the design, I'll have the design down below in the description so you guys can download it for free. I'm gonna just print that quickly, show you how I print it, and then I guess we're just ironing it on and seeing how it looks. So, my printer decided to poop on my flower. I'm gonna have to cut this flower out, but everything else looks pretty good. And then I printed a second one with all the flowers spaced apart, so I can just cut these out individually and then iron them on wherever I like on the shirt. So, this is the fun part now. Iron them on and just creating your design. But before I iron it on, I do wanna crop the shirt a little bit just because it's a little too long for me.
Okay, so for my last reflip, we have a huge pile of fabric here because we're gonna be playing around with a whole bunch of fabrics for this last one. I have a pink basic baby tee here that I'm going to use as the base and then, you know, make my magic on top. But for the inspiration for this one, I have this pin right here. It's a baby tee by Dior. It's pretty famous, this pin. You might have seen it already. And I just love the style of actually cutting out fabric and then actually sewing it on as like a patchwork type of look. So we're gonna try to do something similar to this. We're gonna cut out some fabric on my Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, you can always hand cut it. And then we're gonna jump onto my sewing machine and sew it on. And again, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can hand stitch it. So for this one, I was able just to pin everything down like this. But for this one, because there's a few layers, I am just pinning down the first layer here and then just having this dangle over top and just pin the sides that were not overlapping. And I did the same up here. And then for the circles, I'm just gonna put these on on the very end. We're finally on the last step now and we're just sewing on these patchwork pieces yeah, I'm just gonna call them patchwork pieces. We're just gonna sew them on, and it's gonna take a little bit of time because we're gonna go around the edges of each one, and we're gonna have to do a lot of stopping, lifting the foot up, putting it back down, moving the fabric around, so this is gonna be a little time consuming, but it's gonna be worth it because I think these are gonna be really cute when we're done. But I'm gonna start on this one first, and when you're sewing, make sure you're only sewing the front layer and not the front and the back together. Just, I, I've done that before and it's not fun seeing ripping it. Well, here we go. I am finally done them all, so now it is finally time for the little mini fashion show. So first one we made today is the pink sweater, and this is how it turned out. I absolutely love the back. I think it looks so nice, but it's also very basic on the front, so I can keep this as a very basic sweater, but also it's cute. It's really cute. It's also fun, and it reminds people to have a good day. And then again, for the second one we made, it is super basic and simple in the front, but in the back, look at it. It's telling people to be good humans. And there's a whole bunch of smiley faces on it. 
I love it. And then I ended up making one more iron on with the smiley face because I did have an extra one that I didn't use on the dress. So I made this little cute tank top. I might crop it, might not, but I think it's adorable. I wanted a shirt with like a design on the front, not just everything on the back, you know, a little change up. I am actually really impressed how this one turned out. I really love that I did not put all the flowers like evenly spaced apart. I just kind of put them more to one side and then had some white space here. I just think the design of the shirt is really nice and it also gives that look of it actually being hand painted, which it's not. It's just ironed on like you guys saw. So I'm happy with this one. I could have put some on the back, but I think I'm happy with just them on the front. So here is the first fabric one I made today. I wasn't planning to make a Dior one, but then I just got FOMO, I think, and I just really wanted a Dior shirt like that. So I made this one and this floral print just went so nicely with this pink shirt. So I thought I would just do one fabric for the Dior here. And I think it turned out really, really cute. And then here is the last shirt that I made today. Decided for the last one, I wanted to do something completely my own design. So I decided to go with this where I just use my checkered and then I use my Hawaiian fabric, which definitely gives Hawaii vibes for the shirt. I like the red. I like the blue contrast. I think, I think it's great. I really like it. Not sure if I want to crop the shirt a little bit. I feel like that could be really cute because it's kind of, a little bit long, but I'll probably just decide that later. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed making all of these shirts, sweaters, dresses with me today. If you guys are going to make one, be sure to tag me on Instagram, at Jenna Phipps. I will also have some stuff linked down below to help you guys make any of these if you want to recreate them, just like fonts and just numbers for the things I used off Cricut. And if you guys want to get a Cricut, I will also have a link down below so you guys can shop all the machines and accessories. But that is it. So I'm going to go eat. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Dinner, like if you're like me, eating dinner now. So that's it. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.